in episode 3 of My Life in Football Manager. Lee Duffy is on fire. And a couple more new faces. Hello viewers, I'm Lightwell and welcome back to episode 3 of My Life in Football Manager. This time we have a lower end of the table clash against the Shamrock Rovers second team. Before we get to that, let's have a look at the league table, some new transfers and star player Lee Duffy. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and to keep up to date with the series, hit the subscribe button to be notified when the next videos are available. But as you can see, things are going fairly well, I suppose. Um, yes, we are down in seventh. But when the board was giving us an aim of avoiding finishing bottom, um, to have 11 points from 10 games, I think is fairly reasonable. Cove Ramblers are ahead of us. Um, game in hand, we might not be able to catch them. I mean, we're only three points really behind the playoff places, which is a bit unexpected. And for the most part, we're scoring goals. We've scored 15 in 10 games. Um, the unfortunate part is we've conceded 20. So, as I mentioned in other episodes, it really is the defensive side of the team that's letting us down. And I think that's more personal than tactical. So to try and rectify that, I do keep making a few signings now and again when we get the opportunity. And with that, we've got Mikey Murphy that's come in as a defensive midfielder. Um, not playing a lot of games, to be honest. Um, but he's on, he is on a non-contract. So we're not paying him unless he does play. So he can play as a ball winning midfielder. Wants to play as a support role in the midfield. And then an area that we have strengthened is centre-back with Thomas O'Connor coming in. Young 20 year old and training is showing a bit of a mixed bag but he's playing as a central defender playing reasonably well he's made six appearances so far and he's an improvement on what we had at centre back Jack Ryan another player that's come in to strengthen the midfield again wanting to play a more defensive support role in the midfield but also can play as a Mazala which is very handy and then final addition we've made so far is Jason Hughes Good, strong defensive midfielder. Competition for Brooks in that holding role. Was previously of Athlone Town as well, actually, way, way back in 2012. So it does have history with the club. Um, very happy to bring him in. And we do have a transfer to go out, actually. Um, not completed as yet. But Ronan Asgari, a player that we did just bring in, uh, he is on a non-contract, unfortunately. We'll be joining uh, Limerick on the 26th of June. So we've got him for approximately two months yet. Tried to offer him a full-time, or not full-time, a part-time contract to try and ward off the interest in from Limerick. But he wanted, um, he was happy to stay on a non-contract basis, but wanted €500 Euros per appearance. So at that price, it was no chance. And uh, off he's going to go. So... He's been phasing out with, uh, I think it was Tumalo 2 that was playing a lot more of the games at fullback and starting to improve as well, which is a positive. But so far, up until this point in the season, the main man has been Lee Duffy himself, as we expected. Star player, €300 Euros a week. Look at that current ability. Yes, he's 29, but I've actually changed him to a pressing forward as well because... We were struggling with a lot of long balls forward, so between him and the box-to-box -box midfielder being changed to a Mazala, um, we've stopped some of the long balls coming in. But if we just go to his stats and we can see how he's been doing. 44 shots, 64% of them on target. So with that, he scored 9 goals from 10 appearances, giving him minutes per goal of 110, so just over one per game which is very impressive and passing very impressive even winning the tackles that he's going for as well so very very happy with his contribution to the team with an average rating of 7.2 as well so if we can get a few more like him um, we should be well on our way next season now we move on to the game we are away in this one against the Shamrock Rovers second team 
and Lawless has now forced his way to be the number one keeper. Tolu, Grogan, O'Connor and Alimi Aditoro make up the back four. Hughes anchoring the midfield with Cornally and Ryan ahead of him. And Lennon, Walsh and Duffy make up the front three. So, Shamrock Rovers do sit below us. Um, we have been on a good run. Not much in the way of team talks there, so I think. Pump the fists. We're on a good run. Let's keep going with that. And I think the main aim for today is really just making sure that we don't lose. I wouldn't be happy with a draw, but considering that this is a big six pointer really, if we can get a win here that puts us well ahead of Shamrock Rovers and then we should be looking to push on from here. I think at this point I see the team or the league table as two halves. If we can beat the teams at the bottom we're going to do our job. Not expecting a playoff place. If we get there, it's a bonus. But if we can just solidify ourselves as a mid-table team, I'd be happy with that. Look to rebuild the squad over the summer and then really push on for promotion next year. But Lee Duffy's in here. He's got there first and he's ahead of the keeper. That's goal number 10 for Lee Duffy. What a finish. And it's a bit reversal from uh, the first game of the season where we played Cabin Teeley, where we struggled with long balls. Here is actually Tolu with a long ball forward finding Duffy. He loses his marker, beats the keeper to the ball and good finish there from Lee Duffy who's on fire for us this season. 10 goals from I think that's 11 games for him now. So very, very happy with that. But Shamrock Rovers now lumping the ball forward. Dealt with easily by our defence. Picked up and now we look to work it forward. Ryan bringing it forward. Out wide to Walsh, who's uh, been a bit hit and miss, um, coming back into a bit of form now. So it'd be nice to see him uh, go on a good run. Because really, between Ryan coming in, Cornally being pushed forward, Walsh is doing the job. And as, as I say that, he's got his goal for the day, fourth of the season. And it's pushed Manning out of the team. And I'm not sure what to do with Ronan Manning. Was playing in the centre of the park earlier on in the season. And now kind of struggling to get a game but has not done anything wrong so it doesn't deserve to be out of the team it's just the players playing ahead of him are playing well at the moment and so far he's not caused any fuss so I'm trying to get him some game time here and there uh, just to keep him happy because the other thing with Athlone being part-time and semi-professional the Team cohesion has been a lot slower building up, so I've had to adjust the training accordingly. But for this team talk, outstretched arms, happy with where things are going, keep doing what you're doing. It's as simple as that, really. And I've got to be wary. Shamrock are getting a few chances. I've had four chances on goal, only one of them on target. So we don't want to be uh, getting complacent at the back. So keep an eye on that. But so far, so good from the defence. Thorless now looking to build from the back again. O'Connor to Cornally. Back to Hughes. Long forward to Duffy. And uh, really should be trying to bring that down rather than trying to adjust his leg at that angle. And fortunately, the Shamrock Rovers striker just blazes that way over the bar. Never going to hit the target with that. And 60 minutes in. First substitution as usual. And I think here it's more going to be fitness rather than who's playing badly, but Limi Adatoro not having the best game, so he can come off and the only fullback we've got on the bench. I suppose we've got White that can play it right back. I think we're going to bring Brooks on, play him as the wing back. It's not ideal. And I was talking about Ronan Manning earlier, so I think he can come on, have a run out. Jack Ryan not having the best of games. So I'll just swap them over. Manning can be the Mazala as the more attacking midfielder naturally. And then we'll give it 10-15 minutes. And then unless anything changes, it's really about the fitness. But let me know down in the comments what you think so far on this series. I'm enjoying doing something outside of the norm. And playing in Ireland as opposed to the English lower leagues. So that's been an interesting challenge for me. And then... 
playing with a, a different season as well. This runs from March to, I think, November time, as opposed to September or when do the English season start? I think that starts around August, doesn't it? Running through to May and through my rambling there, I forgot to pause again. But man in here with a free kick, looking to the back post, can't find an Athlon, so and Shamrock look to break now. We need to quell this attack. But we don't, unfortunately, who's that there? Tulu with Shadow in his man, but doesn't put the challenge in. And unfortunately, Lawless should be doing better there. He gets beat at his near post. And I think just going to encourage the team for the last couple of minutes. Actually, that's upset the team. That's the wrong thing to do. There's one last highlight now. We just need to keep this ball away from our goal. Brooks does that, lumps it down the line. Got 30 seconds left on the clock. We just need to hold out now, going into this final stretch. It's a long ball forward from Shamrock. They've given it away. Cornelli picks it up and Duffy feeds in. Oh, Duffy's giving it away, but Walsh there. Poor clearance from Shamrock. And it tell you what, it's all over the place. Another long shot there from, who was that? Manning. But it's fallen to Tulu. Gets his crossing at the second turn. Duffy and he heads over. But that should be that 2-1 victory. And that puts us up into 8th place I think let's just have a look at the league table expected goal shows us we deserve to win the game nice victory well done boys let's have a look at the league table yep so that puts us up into 8th place comfortably now uh, 6 points ahead of Cabin Teeley and Shamrock and we've got level pegging with Wexford we're a point behind Bray I tell you what, that puts us just on the cusp of the playoff spots, so very promising coming into the second part of the season. And what I want to do is play down to the final third of the season, and we've already seen Cabin Teeley and Shamrock Rovers, so I think Galway is going to be the next match that I show you in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and remember to subscribe to see more of my life in Football Manager. And I'll see you next time.